What's going on guys? Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today I'm going to be making this video just to quickly show off my progress in this game once again. I did a video like this earlier last week and I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to do another one of these just because it's been a couple of days since I've last, you know, posted anything about this game so I want to show off my progress but if you guys do not want anything spoiled for you guys in this game then by all means do not watch this video because I will be showing off a couple of the things that you can obtain with Link in this this game and uh, you know I'm sure some of you guys already know this a lot of you already predicted that this thing might be in the game but again if you're waiting to play this for yourself to witness it and experience it then just do not watch this video and I wanted to let you all know as well that I'm going to be launching a breath of the wild let's play later today and we're going to be marathoning this game so if you guys could do me a favor by clicking the bell to be notified for whenever I do post any new videos that way you get automatic notifications sent to your mobile devices whenever I do post a video that way you're not missing anything without further ado let's go ahead and show off what we're planning on showing off right now I'm in Kakariko village I th yeah this is Kakariko village I was gonna say Korok forest but that's definitely not what it is uh, right now this outfit that I'm wearing is pretty cool I actually bought this from a merchant here in this game I'm not entirely sure where I think it was um I think it might have been re- I actually, I don't know. It might have actually been Koki or Kakariko Village. Who knows? I don't remember. That's the thing. Because it's been so long since I've bought in it. But we're just going to go ahead and go to, I guess, noon. Let's, let's go to the noon time. Because, you know, noon is the best time in terms of uh, weather in this game. Unless it's, unless it's raining. Then in which case, then I don't know what to do. But hey, it's not raining, thankfully. So uh, now that it's noon, I'm going to go to Central Hyrule. Uh, just because, like I said, I want to show off exactly what I got. So, essentially, what I'm trying to show off are two tunics that I've been able to obtain, uh, thankfully through Amiibo. Like, the Amiibo actually paid off. They're not just sitting there on my shelf, you know, for, uh, for, for show. They're actually being used to get me nice things in this game. So, I, I somehow managed to get the, oh my goodness, it's raining here. Wow, okay, this game legit has rain going on at all times. I don't know if it's something that has to do with how far you are in the game, but literally, it's always raining, dude. Like, it kind of sucks. Usually, the way I get around bad weather is just I go sit by a campfire till, like, noon, and then I go back to the area that I want to. If it's still raining, I do the same thing. Just I constantly do that, change the time in order to get the weather to, to fit my needs, but... For the most part, it's always raining and it sucks because when you scale mountains, Link literally slides all the time. So it makes it kind of difficult because you're just going to have to wait it out. But hey, this is uh, this is pretty clean. I actually showed this off in my uh, in the first video that I posted of the game, but this is good. So I guess we'll just go ahead and fly or glide all the way down over here. I just need some good grasslands, to be honest. I think this little area will do just fine. It's a little bit cloudy, you know. I turned off the uh, the map and everything. I have it on pro mode. This is how pros would play the game. I, there's no way I can play the game like this without a map. But uh, I turned it off just for the, the purpose of this video. To show off all of the, the cool stuff that we got. So anyways, here is the Hylian Shield. Um, like I said in my LP, which you guys still haven't seen yet, or maybe you have, I'm not sure when this video will be coming out. Uh, I'm going to be obtaining the Master Sword, the Hylian Shield, and then the tunics that I want before I actually do anything in the main story of the game. So I got the, 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 the Hylian Shield. I also obtained the Master Sword. It's a lot stronger than this. I'm not going to tell you guys how strong it is until we actually... Um, actually, you know what? Who cares? It's 60. It does 60 damage only in temples, and then it does 30 outside. It does not break like any of of your other weapons um however it does need a cooldown after a little bit as you can see my master sword is pretty much at the brim of needing a cooldown and it takes about 10 minutes to cool down from nothing to full power again and it's very very strong i mean i just beat the first dungeon yesterday and having this sword was it made it a breeze like honestly it was it was pretty cool so uh anyways the first outfit that i actually completed was the uh the outfit of time the hero of times outfit which was amazing i got the entire thing within a three-day span uh because you know we obviously have a lot of amiibo in the house I was able to use, you know, the Ocarina of Time ones and then the Wind Waker ones. And I was I got these two in one day. And then I got this. And then I got the trousers in one day. And then I got this. And then I got 
Wind Waker uh, tunic in the other day. So it was pretty awesome. Look at how clean he looks, man. Look at this boy. Ooh. Look at that, dude. Link is running low on uh, on Master Sword energy. But look at how awesome he looks, man. Seriously, Link looks so vicious and menacing in this game. It's crazy to see, like, literally my favorite childhood hero uh, in this game, you know, back on, on, the ga on the screen. Except, you know, all souped up. And in a whole new world. It's amazing. So I've been using this literally since I've completed the entire outfit. It's because it just looks amazing. Uh, obviously, you can't use it everywhere you go because, like, in cold places, you're going to need to equip cold gear. And then in warm places, you're also going to need to equip uh, gear that can keep you warm and or keep your body cooled down and whatnot. So for the most part, whenever I am just traveling and just, you know, scaling mountains in areas that don't require anything special, I'm always wearing this tunic. But yesterday, however, I was able to obtain the uh, the tunic of wind, like complete the entire outfit. So I've been kind of rocking that for a couple of, uh, for about, you know, like maybe 12 hours so far. Because uh, I actually didn't get much of a chance to play the game after unlocking it because it was really late. So I just went to bed. But as you can see, it says my Master Sword's running out of energy. So legit, once it breaks, it's, it's, it's going to go on cooldown for 10 minutes. I'm going to try to refrain from breaking it before, you know, showing off... Um, for showing off Wind Waker Link, but this is it, OOT Link, just thought I'd show him off. Like I said, this is what I'm going to be doing in my LP, we're going to be getting all of this stuff first, uh, before even making our way to doing any of the dungeons. Like I said, the reason I'm doing this is because I think it's going to be an interesting way to approach the game, as opposed to, you know, beating it the, uh, the official way, if that makes any sense. I like this way, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I personally cannot wait to start. Here he is one final time before we send him off to another land. There he is. The hero of time is back, guys. All right. So <clears throat> now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and make our way over to this shrine. Because I'm going to make my way to the beach just to show off the hero of wind. It only makes sense, you know, that Wind Waker Link will be at a beach, you know. Uh, one with the sea since, you know, he did come from the sea. He didn't actually come from the sea, but, you know, he, he's, he's a sea monster, dude. He knows how to sell the seas like no one else does. Seriously, if you're ever looking for loot and, and, and gold and treasures, go go treasure hunting with Toon Link. He got you. He's a professional at what he does. So here we are. And of course, it is raining. This game just loves to rain all the time. Look at this. How can a village like this be raining? We're at a beach, my boy. It's not supposed to be raining at beaches. Literally, this is a whole village literally made on beach. It looks amazing. So, I guess it makes more sense to have it raining. I guess it, I'm, I'm not really sure if in Wind Waker it rained a lot. I don't remember. That's the thing. I didn't even get a chance to play Wind Waker HD. So, like, my memories of Wind Waker is pretty, uh, pretty bad. So, anyways, in order to move one of these things, you're going to need uh, one of these Korok leaves. So you're just going to stand here and then blow this thing. We already got a little bit of wind going, so that's good. So this thing will automatically go pretty fast. Uh, look how clean look Link looks, dude. Just with the outfit of time, the tunic of time, dude. It looks amazing. I legit love it. It looks so nice. Like, it's weird seeing him like this. It's, like, weird in such a good way. Like, it feels too good to be true. Like, dang, this is a new Zelda game. And we got the hero of time just chilling here. You know, doing his thing again. I never thought I'd see the day. Because, you know, every time they change Link up in the Zelda games. But, like, this is it. The Hero of Time is back. I just stole some guy's raft, I know. I don't know why I did that. I should have just found my own raft. But, hey, this was just chilling at the dock. It looked it looked uh, like it was ready to be used. I mean, why would I go find a raft if I could just use this guy? Because, you know, he's a nice dude, I'm pretty sure. He's, he's not going to mind. But I guess this is good enough. Um, so let's go ahead and equip this thing back on and just show off the rest. So like I said, we got the cap of wind, we got the trousers of wind, and then yesterday I got the tunic of wind. So you get to see a little bit of preview on the right side of how he looks. And then this is obviously the real Toon Link. Oh yeah, except he's an adult now. It's weird. I was saying that yesterday as I was playing with him. It was so weird playing with, like, Toon Link, but in Adult Link form. But it's really cool. I mean, my, the mascot of my channel is literally Toon Link. So, like, this is, like, one of the best things ever. 
Maybe if I was a bigger fan of Wind Waker, I'd really appreciate this. I mean, I obviously do love it, and I'm going to be rocking this for a minute. But, like I said, um, the Hero of Time is definitely my favorite Link. So, I'm going to be using him more so than this one. But, I just thought it was cool that, you know, I have this one to use if I ever did want to, you know, switch it up and use something else. So, right now, what I'm currently working on getting is the, uh, the Twilight suit completely. I've never played Twilight Princess, but dang, look at how clean Link looks with that hat. It looks amazing. I bet you it's going to look great. Probably going to be my favorite looking one. Um, but this is all I got yesterday so far from using the Twilight Princess Amiibo. Uh, and I got just the, 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 the tunic or the, the cap, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try to, like I said, to, to get the, the rest of this outfit pretty soon. And if I do, I'll make a video on it for sure. Uh, but other than that, this is pretty much everything else that I've got. You know, we got this. It's it's good for stealth. It looks like chic, except mill version. We got the Zora armor, which is a part of the game. I bought this, which is uh, for climbing Death Mountain and stuff, so you're not burning. Uh, this for the cold. So I mean, I got I got a bunch of good clean stuff. Most of the stuff you do get by buying or by you know obviously amiibo. You don't really find many clothing in the wild, which is weird because I I would expect that you would find a lot of you know clothes outside in the wild, but that's not the case. But anyways, this is uh, Toon Link Amiibo. I hope you guys, you know, uh, enjoyed this video and you like you like how these guys look. Like I said, you know, I personally am going to be using them like this throughout the entire game. Like, there's no reason for me to go back to using regular Link. Even then, like, look at this. It fits so perfectly. Look how clean he looks, man. Especially with the Hylian shield and the Master Sword. It just makes anything look good. So all I need really is just a good bow. That, that's kind of flashy, and then I'd be golden if I can get like a Hylian bow or something. I mean, these bows are pretty alright, don't get me wrong, but they're obviously not as good as the original Hylian stuff. So, I guess that's pretty much going to be it, guys, for this video. Let me know down in the comment section below which one of these links you thought was better looking. If you think uh, the Toon Link link is better, or if the Ocarina of Time link is better. Like I said, it, I personally enjoy the OOT link. They're, they're still both great, don't get me wrong, but... OOT Link is just my dude, you know, he'll always be my favorite hero, uh, Link hero, I guess, forever, you know, so, um, he's, he's the one that I'm always gonna be repping, I'll go ahead and change his outfit one more time real quick, so you guys get a good look at him, there you go, put the, that on, that on, and that on, if that does not make you feel nostalgic, dude, I don't know what will, this is crazy, look at that, man, that is so clean! Oh, I love this game. Anyways, like I said, an LP coming out soon. If not, it's already out by now. So go watch it. We're marathoning it until completion. At least that's the plan. So expect at least two to three videos a day, every single day. Um, and it's going to be the Master Sword Edition quest. We're going to be playing the game and getting the Master Sword first, beating shrines, exploring the entire map, which is so, so big. Like, seriously, we're going to be unlocking every little piece of this map. And then we're going to be making our way to all four of the dungeons, defeating them, and then beating the game. So, uh, it's going to be a fun journey, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.